November the 5th, 20 odd degrees outside. I shot another whiskey video earlier in the day. Now it's closer to five o'clock and it's still gorgeous out. So um, let's do another one. In fact, this time what we're going to do is, bam, compass box, spice tree. I've been trying to get my hands on this forever. Uh, but of course I live in Quebec, so we don't get anything here until now. Um, you guys will recognize that this is my second compass box. I did the uh, Peep Monster earlier. I'm just going to get some stuff out of the way here so that I can put this right about there so we can all admire the beautosity as I chit chat. So, uh, let's open it. Same knife as earlier. I'm going to have to make sure that these two reviews go out in order. Anyways, whatevs. I'm very excited. Let's try to do this right. Start it off good. Knife away because of safety first reasons. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I wonder what that QR code is for. Take a look a little later. Did you guys hear that? Ready? <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, I'm excited to have this. Oh, it's been it's been so long that I've been looking for it. All right. So, um, there's no age statement on this, so I there's no reason to sort of let this sit for a while. But I'm going to let it sit just while we do the uh, the chitting, the chatting, and the uh, design grade. So, Spice Tree, um, Compass Box has been around since 2000. Uh, it's a, a Glazer production. He was a uh, marketing manager, I think, for Johnny Walker. He's an American, but this is a, a Scottish company. Um, when they brought out the Spice Box originally, what they did was they put flat staves inside the barrels, French oak staves, for the secondary maturation. The Scotch Whiskey Association hated that because they are allergic to progress. And this whiskey was promptly discontinued. What Compass Box then did was to work within the regulations of the Scotch Whiskey Association. They changed the, the secondary maturation to uh, American oak casks with French toasted French oak um, ends uh, heads I think I got that right I'm sorry I'm a little tired um, and so that's how they get around the uh, the association's silly little regulations um, if you think that you hear a little bit of um, jaded opinion on my part about the association it's because I am Canadian so um, because of the whole Glen Breton fiasco, I think that any time the Scotch Whiskey Association can go eat an ass is a good day. Uh, so that's where we are with the Spice Tree. It is not the original method of production, uh, but apparently it's very, very similar, if not the same. So many birds. So let's talk about the design. I think Compass Box does a spectacular job with the look and feel of their product. This is, there's a fantasy look to it that I, I just love. You know, it's got a real, like, I, I almost expect this to be the, you know, the front cover of a spell book. Beautiful. Uh, Compass Box, Scotch Whiskey Maker. I believe Compass Box, I think Whiskey Maker is a Compass Box word. Um, Yes, John Glazer right there. Whiskey maker John Glazer. I did have that right. Uh, what are we talking about? 46% 700 ml bottle, as so many whiskeys are becoming these days. Um, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the Compass Boxes logos, uh, you know, the, um, the actual compass, pair of compasses they have there, which you can't really see, but you can see it up here. Terrific looking, 
the font work is, is fabulous. I haven't read this because I'm afraid of tasting notes, but it's just, it looks so old school. We got a batch number here. I'm guessing 2502.22 is the date. And I'm guessing that 824 BB, that's like maybe the, the time. 30824. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how their batch numbers work. But, anyways, there we go. What do we got here? We have uh, no French on the bottle, which is interesting. Oh, okay. The SAQ put a, uh, put a label on. So, what kind of grade am I giving this look and feel? I'm going to call this. Uh, I'm gonna call this a straight up 82. I really like it. I love the the design. I love the just the shape of the labels. Ah, oh, it's so good looking. So good looking. Shall we nose the, the whiskey then? Gonna swap this around. Uh, and okay, so that's a good looking dram. Is that natural color? Yes, it is because as it says right here, non show filtered and natural colored. Right? That's what I wanna see. Say it on the label, guys. I can smell it from here. Beautiful. Um, in terms of giving it a swooshy swoosh for the tears, looks good. I'm expecting a little bit of oiliness there, not too much, not too viscous. I'm gonna smell it on the schnoz. fresh okay it's oaky that's for sure there's definitely spice like a baking spice which is the kind of spice I really like not like a big cinnamon but there's a nutmeg maybe baked goods as I've said before though that fresh thing might just be because I, I do these reviews in the great outdoors oh <laughs> there's a bird right behind me very nice. Um, mild though. Like it's, it's not like punching me out. It's not crawling right into my sinuses or anything. Warm, comforting. Definitely a, a comfortable nose. Uh, there's a little spice. There's a slightly growing, like a, there's a slightly herbaceous. Um, note there on the nose I'm going to call this a 76 very pretty okay let's go to the uh, to the palette shall we to the palette All the intensity that I did not get up the schnoz is right there on the tongue. It's effervescent. It scintillates. The, the spice comes across like it just across the top of the tongue. Mm, and it's oaky and it's malty. It's big. It's weird because I didn't get that on the schnoz at all, but wow. That's better. I was I was feeling a little let down on the on the nose, but on the palate it really really comes alive. And now because I see now I'm finding more things um, on the nose now. But it's weird that nose does not set you up for what happens on the on the palate at all. I'm, doing, I'm definitely taking another sip. Slight drying element like it's it's a big hit of flavor big whoa, let's go and then it, it it dries right out but it's still got staying power like it doesn't dry right out and disappear there's it sort of tails off mm. good finish big spice big big spice peppery nice it's a warm kitchen. You're baking an apple pie. Windows open. 
and the smell of trees are coming in the window. 84 on the palette. So let's do our checklist, shall we? What do we have here? Well, it's not a single malt. It's a blend. So no point there. It is no age statement, so no point there. It is 46%, so there's a point. It is non-chill filtered and natural color. So you got points on those. And So three out of five ain't bad. Um, I don't know if we should put water in this. I don't like putting water in these, but I, I, I do it for the science, in the name of science. Just a little bit of the water. And it doesn't affect the grade, but you know, it's still good for you guys to know. It's still good for me to know too. Okay, the volatiles have volatiliated. The nose is gone practically. Oh. Yeah, it's just a watered down version of what I tasted before. The sweetness is gone. The malt sugar is gone. It's just spicy. And the spice, the spice is bigger. It's, it's got more claws now. But no, I don't like that. For value, it's under 100 bucks. Very reasonably priced. Uh, now, Compass Box, they do have some uh, whiskeys that, that go right up there. But this one doesn't. Just going by my non-scientific research, this is the iconic Compass Box. Okay, this is the one that everyone knows. Uh, this is a, a good entry into the compass box stable, I feel. It's very accessible, both in terms of money and in terms of taste. If I have someone over who's like, oh, I don't know if I like whiskey, this might not be what I give them. But if someone is starting their whiskey exploration, definitely going to pour them a dram of this. So with all that, um, look, I don't know what it's a blend of. So I don't know if this is all premium whiskeys or not. Probably not at the price this is. I think it was 80 bucks, 81 bucks uh, in, in Quebec pricing. Um, I think it's a good deal. I would give this uh, an 85. So um, yeah, I guess that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with me while I reviewed this uh, Spice Tree by Compass Box. As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, please do the following three things. One, comment down below. What's your favorite Compass Box? Um, two, share this video as far and wide as you can because that helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.